They heard a sound in Jesus' day, but they couldn't identify the sound. They missed it. They even heard the sound of John the Baptist. They heard the voice crying out, but they, they couldn't get it. You must hear the sound of the Spirit. You must hear the voice of God saying, come to me. You must hear him. You must hear the sound of heaven drawing you. You must hear the sound of his presence. You've got to get to that place where, where nothing matters but the voice, the sound. You must get there. It must drown out all else in your life. It must, all the cares, all of your other desires, all of your passions, everything else has to, has to be brought down to a level where the loudest thing you hear is His voice saying, Come, come, come. As you bring forth the sound of heaven, the Lord says, I will begin to fill the atmosphere. And it will be not what you say. It will be who you are. It will be who you are. It will be who you are. You will no longer wonder what it means not to be able to minister or move because of the weighty presence. You will know my weighty presence, he says. You will know my glory. You must ask him to come. You must create an atmosphere for his spirit. You must give him worth. You must value Him above your next breath. You must ask Him to come. You must cry out until the sound of heaven reaches earth. You must cry out until your voices are one with His. You must cry. You must cry. You must cry out for it. Fire! Fire! Come with your fire. 